Memorial Day weekend, this is Friday, and this is actually probably what the scene looks like all this past week and what it's going to look like all next week with school field trips. Now this is a very small sampling of it, but from what I've seen there's been busloads of kids coming in for school field trips. Oh, if you want to get ahead of it all. Make sure you get in line early, guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome. We're here at Bush Gardens. Now, uh, we're not gonna stay long today, but we did need to come here and get you a little bit of an update. They are now accepting the five Passport to Thrills tickets in exchange for an invite to the Passport to Thrill party for Phoenix Rising. So guys, uh, it started May 19th, and you have until June, they say on the website, up to June 16th. So that means you have to turn them in by June 16th. In other words, June 15th is your last day. And I have a theory behind that, but I'll hold that off to the later part of the video. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button. We're here checking out our chimpanzees. They took the walls away from the windows. So I guess they're kind of getting a little bit more used to us. And the rest of the family is up there. What happened? We go in the corner. We go inside. Yeah, it looks like they went inside. That was cute. If you look very carefully. I think that's Jim hiding back there. Gotta see where the other ones are. Hey, Jim! Jim! Hi, Jim! Hi, Jim! He looked. Hi! So even though the other one responded to his name being called, this one over here is Jim. The other one must be uh, Tinga. And right up there, you see Whimsy. Hi, Jim. Hi! What's up, Jim?
Jim? No. I'm trying to see if he would communicate. Handsome man you are, Jim. Yes, you are. It's a connection like none other. They are more like us than any, any other animal on the planet. Yet as humans continue to thrive, gorillas inch closer and closer to disappear forever. Yeah, so that must have been Tinga up there. Because that looks like whimsy. To get this close to gorillas, to connect with them in this way. Okay. <laughs> Tuxedo birds coming in for a swim. Hi. Yeah. Come on in. It's warm. Come on. <laughs> Doing the penguin dance swim. All right, now we're moving. Wow, he took off. He's done. <laughs> Gotta love our tortoises. See three of them here. And yes, that is the voice of one of our friends, Coda! Hey Coda, how you doing? Uh, Bush Gardens was celebrating Tortoise Day. Actually, Tortoise Day was yesterday, but they're actually celebrating it today with some nice, interesting finds here. We yeah. have, uh, these are skulls? Yeah, so these are gonna be skulls from a bunch of different uh, different turtles. Uh, you have a red-bellied turtle, a soft-shell turtle, and then uh, this over here is just like a snapping turtle, right? Uh, you can see just differences in size, but they're all turtles, right? So they're gonna look very similar, so it makes sense. Uh, now, do you guys know what, I mean, I'm assuming you do, right? What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Uh, I know all, all tortoises can be turtles, but not turtles, not all turtles can be tortoises, something like that. Exactly, Very so true. turtles <laughs> is definitely like an umbrella term that we use for the, uh, the group of testudines, right? So testudines, you have three different subspecies, well, not subspecies, but like three different species in there. You have uh, turtles, you have tortoises, and then you have uh, terrapins as well, which are considered a different thing, even though they're within that like turtle, right? Mm -hmm. So you have tortoises are uh, exclusively land animals, right? So they're um, they're not gonna have any adaptations to be in the water. So, I mean, these are tortoises, right? So even though they do go in the water, they're not gonna be swimming in it, right? They're gonna be right. walking on it. So they have like little, uh, like stubbier legs. They don't have any sort of like swimming appendages. And then their shell usually tends to be a little bit taller just because they don't need to be as hydrodynamic in order to be able to swim, right? Mm. On the other hand, turtles, either sea turtles or freshwater turtles, are a little bit different between them, of course, but they are adapted to live in water, right? Sea turtles live exclusively in water, so they just have straight up flippers, yep. right? And very flat shells. Same with the, uh, with the freshwater turtles, but in their case, rather than uh, flippers, since they do go in and out of the water more often, they're just gonna have webbed feet, right? So mm -hmm. just with little fingernails for traction, but with membranes in between the fingers so they can swim around. And then um, terrapins, the only, this, the only reason we, we make a distinction between terrapins and turtles because they are also hybrid animals, right? So they're, they're going to go in and out, but terrapins live exclusively in brackish water. So it's going to be a mix of salt and fresh water. So your diamondback terrapins uh, that you can find around like Chesapeake Bay and like Maryland, stuff mm -hmm. like that, they look like turtles. They do belong to that like 
turtle umbrella term, the Deschudines, but they are technically um, um, terrapins. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, Eric. Absolutely. Thank you very much. It is my pleasure. And you do see a, a shell here. Yes, and it, this is an alligator snapping turtle shell, right? Mm. And the very cool thing you can actually see here is their spine, right? A lot of people think that turtles and tortoises are inside of their shell, right? Kind of like Mario, nope. you just pop them out of there. Nope. Uh, no, <laughs> right? Their, their spines are fused to the shell, so it's not removable. Uh, mm -hmm. And because of this, actually, they do have nerve endings all over the shell, so even though uh, you like wouldn't necessarily think of it and uh, they do feel everything that, that we do on their shells so the cartoons have been telling you all wrong yes. the turtles do not take off their shell and hang it on like a coat rack guys <laughs> exactly exactly yeah, if that happens it's definitely a problem yeah definitely <laughs> a problem <laughs> so yeah that is uh, one thing that was uh, I think uh, recently uh, found out uh, in the past 20 years mm -hmm. uh, because um, they used to mark the tortoises and turtles by putting a mark on their shell mm -hmm. and after they realize that the shell is actually part of their body and mm -hmm. they have a nervous system exactly. they realized oh that might not be a good idea exactly yeah yeah yep. so. yeah same thing like the the shell itself is bone but there's like a layer of keratin so kind of like a mm -hmm. protective fingernail if you want to think about it that way which is what like makes the, the little squares right those right. are called scutes uh, and then, yeah, if you do like a mark on this, it's going to regrow anyways. So, yeah. so, yeah, definitely, definitely not the best idea. Yep, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have noticed, there is no water here in Cheetah Hunt. You guessed it, folks. We're on Falcon's Fury for another Phoenix Rising update. We caught it last week. We're gonna catch it again. If you notice right there, there's a piece of tarp, the blue tarp, that's right on the brake run. And underneath that blue tarp is one of the cars for the train. So now they're putting up, um, oh, some fencing here. So yeah, they put the holes in the ground that I noticed, put a post. That's looking good. It looks like the building is almost done. there yet yeah. <laughs> wait for it <laughs> well, here we go again, folks, for another over the wall look. I hope so. Yeah.
Summer Nights has started. Tonight being the first night of Summer Nights. We have Wazzy Rocks here. We have DJs all throughout the park. And we have dancers. Plus, we also have a new ice show. Just in case if you guys were wondering how the crowd levels are the Friday before Memorial Day. Iron Gwazi has a 50 minute wait. We decided a way to turn so we can get on with uh, the Quasi King and the runner up. Perfect. <laughs> well, as we said earlier before, we weren't going to stay too long because we have a birthday party to attend and make sure it happens. Our son's birthday, of course. So, as a side note though, uh, a friendly reminder, if you're, uh, if you got a phone or something, don't bring them on a ride with you unless you have a zippered pocket. Or get a fanny pack and stick it in a fanny pack like this that you can pick up right at the Bush Gardens Junkie YouTube store. And don't forget to hit that like button and share this video out with all your friends and neighbors and animal friends and pets and everybody else. Until the next time, we'll catch you at the parks.